Bryce here with Hangear.com and Seven Sons Farms. I'd like to do a quick video today showing you how to how to mount slash assemble our uh, DC motor kits. So let's head on inside. Okay, so our DC motor kit includes our DC solenoid timer. Um, these wires here are your positive and negative uh, going to your uh, going to your motors. And these here are your positive and negative going to your battery. Um, they are clearly marked there. Um, we uh, the kits do not include the uh, 12 volt battery. Um, that is something you want to source uh, locally. There, uh, we use a marine deep cycle battery. As for the motors, it includes your your 20 inches of wire along with the male connectors that are already attached to this uh, to this uh, wire here. And the kit will also include these uh, uh, these T's, which would just simply you just simply clip to the wire like so. Um, we do recommend using a pair of pliers to crimp it down all the way. Um, the kit does not include this 12 gauge solid wire that would uh, go the full length of the building. Um, again, you'll want to source, uh, source that locally uh, uh, from your store. And uh, and again, that wire we run the full length of the building, you know, tapping each one of these motors into the wire, and the wire comes back. And we, in our setup here, we just run it up the truss there, and it comes back down to the battery. As for the motors, um, obviously, what is included is this 20 inches of wire there. Uh, the spring that you'll just simply clip to the bracket and the tray front and it'll include your screws along with this L bracket to be able to when you pull down the plunger there that's what keeps your roost bar up so again for your 12 gauge uh, solid wire that you'll source locally that runs on the full length of the building uh, again, we do recommend you get solid, uh, not stranded. Um, these uh, yellow tees, not much easier to the solid versus stranded wire. Um, and we do recommend getting black and red for your positive and negative, so everything really makes a little more sense. And again, in our situation, it runs uh, up the trusses here on back down. Uh, the kit will include your male uh, connectors, so all we're going to need to do is just strip a little piece of the wire and crimp these on down. And then you'll connect, these here are the positive and negative for the motors. You'll just connect them here to the positive and negative uh, going to the timer. And you'll obviously hook the positive and negative up to the 12 volt battery. And there is a manual on how to set the timer. Uh, again, you'll just, uh, you'll set the current time. You'll set the time for it to open. And then you'll set the run time just for one second. I think by default, it's automatically set for six. I'll just crank that down uh, again just to one second and then all the other uh, run times make sure they're all set for zero and just for your information our DC motor kits uh, and our AC motor kits for that matter will work uh, on a uh, rear rollout configuration like we have here however we do find that um, the spring that would be pulling uh, this roost bar down uh, we haven't quite figured out where exactly to mount it um, or, if, or even if it's possible to make it fall down. Uh, what we do find works real well is if you just uh, take a string, wrap it around the roost bar, and tie it to some sort of a weight. It could be something as simple as a water bottle, something heavy enough to when this plunger here comes up, the weight will force the, the roost bar down. So if you'd like to slow the acceleration of the roost bar coming down, you can simply adjust the lock nuts on the brackets on both sides, tighten those up, and it can uh, it'll slow the acceleration at which your uh, roost bars fall down. So you can slow it down even more than that. Alrighty, so that's how you mount our DC motor kits. If you'd like more information, please visit hengear.com. Till next time.